Understanding when and how to answer questions with explanations. Hello everyone, welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we are going to dive into an interesting aspect of conversational English. Identifying situations that require explanations. When answering questions, sometimes a simple yes or no is not enough. At times, we need to provide explanations to fully convey our thoughts or information. Today's lesson will help you identify such situations and respond accordingly. To identify questions that require explanations, we need to understand the difference between closed-ended questions and open-ended questions. Closed-ended questions are those which can be answered with a simple yes, no, or one-word answer. For example, do you like ice cream? The answer could be simply yes or no. On the other hand, open-ended questions encourage more than a yes or no response and require more thought. These types of questions often start with words like why, how, what, describe, explain, etc. For example, why do you like ice cream? This kind of question demands an explanation. Understanding the context of a conversation is vital in determining if an explanation is needed. Even for closed-ended questions, depending on the context or the person you're speaking with, you might need to give an explanation. For example, if your doctor asks, do you exercise regularly? Even though it's a closed-ended question, given the context, an explanation would be beneficial. For instance, yes, I do. I run for 30 minutes every morning. Remember, the art of conversation is about social awareness. If someone seems interested in a particular topic, or if the situation requires more information for clarity, providing an explanation would be appropriate. For instance, if your friend asks, did you like the movie? Even though it's a closed-ended question, if your friend is genuinely interested, you might respond, yes, I did. The cinematography was stunning and I loved the plot twists. Being aware of when to offer explanations in your answers is an important part of mastering English conversation. It's not just about grammar or vocabulary. It's also about understanding the context, reading the situation, and knowing what the other person is truly asking for. We hope you found this video helpful. Remember, practice is key. Try to identify these situations in your daily life and respond appropriately. You'll find that your conversational skills will improve significantly. Stay curious, keep learning, and see you in the next video.